Now, the United States, the first country in the world to send uh, the man to the moon. The year was 1969, and 50 years on, the United States has decided to once again launch a lunar mission to reconquer the moon. But the big question is why? Why conquer the same space, which has already been conquered? Now, NASA scientists say they are aiming to reach beyond the moon. We're talking about Mars. That's the red planet. NASA argues that reconquering the moon, it's a must before a trip to Mars. Here's why. NASA wants to develop a sustainable human presence on the moon with missions lasting several weeks. Compared to just a few days, that was done during its previous 1960s Apollo mission. The goal is to better understand how to prepare for a multi-year round trip to Mars. This is mainly to understand the radiation intensity in deep space and also to find a place for refueling resources during lengthy trips to the faraway planet. A major goal of the Artemis program is the construction of a space station in orbit around the moon called Gateway. This will serve as a pit stop before the journey to Mars. NASA also wants to learn how to use the resources present on the surface of the moon, particularly ice, which has been confirmed to exist on the lunar south pole. This ice can be transformed into rocket fuel by cracking it into its separate hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The mission is not just about putting our footprint on lunar dust. It marks the beginning of a new space race for lunar resources. The two main front runners in the race being United States and China. Both countries have been excessively competitive in this sector and have tried to outdo one another with their space missions. Both superpowers are currently focusing on the lunar south pole, which remains the least explored and is of please, much please, scientific no, thank interest. You. Thank you. NASA has identified 13 potential landing sites on the lunar surface. This is part of the Artemis 3 crewed mission, which is scheduled for 2025. China, meanwhile, is also moving step by step to leave its mark on the moon. It has already put robotic probes on our planet's only natural satellite. China and Russia are collaborating on their own moon program as well. By 2026, they plan to land humans on moon and by 2035 construct a moon base. China further wants to send probes to collect samples from Mars and Jupiter as well. After postponing the last two launches of its much-anticipated moon mission, US space agency NASA has once again come up with two possible dates that can see the moon rocket blast off from the launch pad site. During a press briefing recently, NASA's senior official Jim Free said that the space agency is now looking at 23rd September and 27th of September as the possible dates for its next attempt at launching a mission to the moon. This mission is an exciting step towards returning humans to the moon for the first time in decades. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.